your first steps on the playground, telling yourself you were going to make it across those monkey bars, or even looking at your child and seeing yourself in him or her. There's always something that reminds us of the child in all of us. For me as a child, I would love to play pretend. I would imagine a lengthy list of extraordinary animals coming to attack my kingdom. And on the off days when I wasn't on battle, I'd be hosting the grandest of tea parties, with Barney being my number one guest, of course. But every now and then in our life, there are points that shake our reality. Mine happened when I read a book about a girl named Sudoku who had something far scarier than the animals in my world, cancer. Having Sudoku's life turned around in a blink of an eye, I realized the world of make-believe was much nicer than ours. Cancer didn't care that Sudoku, or any child for that matter, dreams of the world before them. Cancer didn't care that this child is part of something bigger. Upon diagnosis, this child now has to visit doctors, get medical tests, blood tests, x-rays. Time for friends and play has been replaced with strangers and poking needles here and there. Oftentimes, these children see their parents worried, so they put on the bravest of faces. This is all happening to a child. A child that should see life as a playground now sees it as a battlefield. No longer does this child want to grow up to be a doctor, an astronaut, or a nurse. They just want to grow up. They want to be able to recover from this. And if and when they do recover, they're told there could be a chance that this could come back and they're put right back into the usual routine of things. My research uses Connolly and Clandinan's narrative inquiry to look at the experience of young adult survivors of childhood cancer. Experience is looked at through three lens. First, over time. Second, in a place or a series of places. And finally, interactions within themselves and with others. Medicine tries to find the life and death of cancer cells. How do they replicate? Where do they come from? It needs to make room for understanding the experience of a person. Because having been diagnosed with cancer and having survived cancer is biographically meaningful. And if medicine wants the entire picture, it needs to bring the person back into the picture. Thank you.